bitch, I ain't even got two minutes. Don't know what to do with it. Cool with it. Who did it? That's me. Acting like an ancient fucking favorite MC. I see times three when I fucked up, drunk up, hitting that tree by the police. Homies know me. Oh, we go back like an OG in a 4D. I'm thinking that time ain't for nothing. They wanna hate, well, keep it coming. I'm putting my talents for something. I'm putting it down, keep it running. I bring it on back like that with an eight track and a six pack and a second that green. Look me in the face anytime, any place. I'ma lift my eyebrow. What the fuck do you mean? Hey, hey, don't give a fuck what you say. Cause I'm building reputation in a major fucking way. And I do this shit. Cause I live this shit. And I breathe this shit. And I be this bitch. Uh, I'ma try hard, bitch. I'ma try hard. I'ma try hard, bitch. I'ma try hard. I'ma try hard, bitch. I'ma try hard. Look me in the face anytime, any place. And you know I'm a fucking super star. Star. Bitch, I ain't even got two minutes. Don't know what to do with it. Cool with it. Who did it? That's me. Acting like an itch and fucking favorite MC. I see times three when I fucked up, drunk up, hitting that tree by the police. Homies know me. Oh, we go back like an OG in a 4D. I'm thinking that time ain't for nothing. They wanna hate, well, keep it coming. I'm putting my talents for something. I'm putting it down, keep it running. I bring it on back like that with an 8 track and a 6 pack and a sack of that green. Look me in the face anytime, any place. I'ma lift my eyebrow. What the fuck do you mean? Hey, hey, don't give a fuck what you say. Cause I'm building reputation in a major fucking way. And I do this shit. Cause I live this shit. And I breathe this shit. And I be this bitch. Uh, I'ma try hard, bitch. I'ma try hard. I'ma try hard, bitch. I'ma try hard. I'ma try hard, bitch. I'ma try hard. Look me in the face anytime, any place. And you know I'm a fucking super star. Everybody. <laughs> um, I just sent an invite. Who are you? I'm Straw Stone. I'm Modest K. This is Straw Talk After, After Dark. Dark. Hey, <laughs> episode 28. Yes, episode 28. I can't believe it. You lovely fucking people and all your support. You guys are the best. Um, It's Big Monday. It's Monday as fuck. Monday as fuck. Um, let me just try. <laughs> I just want the Weed Maps people to fucking like see me like wearing this and send me shit. Like... <laughs> I'm already Send on that things, shit. Travis that. Finch, I fucking love you, dude. Bodes, what, what up, up dude? Uh, but I invited Nick in because it's Nick's birthday. Oh, well. Static's birthday. That's right. Happy birthday, dude. Happy birthday. We fucking love and miss you, my guy. Yes. Uh, Jesse Clark, what's up, dude? Yeah, man. What up, what up? Uh, we got Juju in here right now. We got David. We got Tyler Johnson, McDread. What up, what up? We got No Name Sensei. That's my guy. Um... Matt Sages, that's my guy. My mom was in here, she's dope. 22 of you motherfuckers. We just really appreciate that you guys support this platform and uh, every day we get to see the numbers go up on the interviews and we're almost yeah. at 200 subscribers. That is insane. We have like seven more to go. Oh my God, seven. So that's y'all, y'all did that. Um, but yeah. make sure you say happy birthday to Nick. Yeah, everybody say happy birthday. Make sure you say meowdy. <laughs> meowdy? <laughs> I don't know. Remember that yeah, meme we... with the cat with the little hat? Like, oh, you just gotta scroll by and not say meowdy. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. What well, it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope other people have seen that, so I just don't look like a total fool. Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. KT, your boy, shout out. What up? Oh, it's McDread. Oh, check out. It's McDread. Happy birthday, McDread. McDread, what? Man, happy, happy birthday. birthday. All these talented people on their birthdays. I hope you Man. guys are having an awesome birthday. Speaking of birthdays, our daughter turned two on Saturday, yep. and people came and shouted happy birthday from their cars and honked their horns and, like, decorated their cars for it her. It was yet. dope. Uh, it was amazing. Yeah. 
We're not going to bring that up every single episode. For I a week. know we're not. But I was just <laughs> we're, saying. We're just really happy that we have friends that give a fuck and and care about our and family's well being. Yeah. Yeah. It was dope. We have dope family and friends. Uh, but yeah, McDread. McDread's actually helping me with some artwork for the new business, so yeah. I'm excited about that. Um, t-shirts should have sent out today. So if you bought a T-shirt, Facts. it's on its fucking way. On its way. Thank you for supporting. If you buy uh, any of the new merch, uh, that's also going to be on its way very soon. Speed I'll have delivery. that. I'll have that to be picked up or delivered by me very soon. Uh, and then I'll let you know what all's left. Because make sure you guys cop something. That's it's hard pretty. out here for a wimp. <laughs> it's hard. We're doing limited runs, so we're just gonna put that money into like doing more cool shit. These things so. are limited edition. Yeah, but uh, let's not just talk about selling shit. Yeah, let's that not sucks. talk about that. Well, uh, let's talk about. Let's talk about the intro song. That's Gunner B. Tryhard. Gunner B. And Tryhard. that'll be the last time we play that as the intro. But I encourage you to go to our YouTube and run that shit up. Thank you so much, Gunner B, for allowing us to use your song as our intro song for all these episodes. We very much appreciate it. We yeah. love your song. And uh, if you you have something that you want us to play or think we should see, or if you want to release something from our YouTube, hit us up, man. We're trying to be a platform for yes. all you guys. And don't forget about the Creative People Doing Creative Things group. Um, it's still very much alive. Uh, postings, like other people's things that they post. It's not just music. It's There's other kinds of art in there, so go check it out. Don't be bored. Um kind of the topic for tonight that I kind of brought I was in a bad mood but then I ate some raisin cane so I'm a little better <laughs> he's not as spicy um, as he was when he came in um have you guys noticed like the the people that you're always like you ever just have people like when you're doing things and you're like they just hit you up and like man like they can't give you enough compliments like at weird weird timing compliments too like and you yeah. just think to yourself you're like okay this person probably wants something but you can't think like that all the time. You have to believe that some people have genuine interest in your moves. Yeah. So I, I usually take that route all the time. Right. Like if somebody tells me that they like how I move or like how I do things, um, I take that to heart. And I and I then that's like, okay, so um, I don't know. I just notice a lot of the people to when I've had, because I've, I've had like the guys around me, it's like, why so-and-so like on every post of yours? Or why so-and-so doing this? And I just have to look at some of these young kids and be like, Give them a fucking chance. Maybe this person's trying to do cool shit. Yeah. Um, but you know what I've noticed? I've noticed those people, while we've had to readjust and and maybe now that we can't immediately put them on the shows that they want or they can't get the, the venue connect that they need or whatever, or they don't think, maybe they don't see shows coming for a while. I don't see them like... Where are they at, though? There's some people that, I mean... And I don't need everyone to love me. That's not what this is about. It's just like, I hope like through this process, it's a huge positive that we really know who actually fucks with us. And I, I hope everyone else, if you're kind of going through the same thing to you, you realize that maybe some of those relationships and one of the, you know, some of those persistent people, um, if they disappear, don't be sad about it. Girl, be blessed. Perhaps. Yeah. Be blessed that you, that we found out now. Um, because I've had people that, you know, they go way out to compliment me and the team and what we're doing. And I haven't seen them pop into a straw talk, which is all about other artists, one time. Not once. Not one share, not one anything. But I bet if we all reopened tomorrow and had like full-fledged shows and, and I, you know, was booking Doobie in the eight cities and I'm still going to book him at the end of the year, I, I bet these people all of a sudden are my buddy again. Um, so if you did find yourself here... Um, I still welcome you to support these artists and, and, and do what's right. We're adjusting. Definitely. Uh, one of my topics, what I was going to say, I was going to be like, is it, I mean, I don't want to be a dick. You know what I mean? I just like, I just want people to keep it real. For sure. And that's, I hope <laughs> if you're going through that too, like I, maybe it's relatable. That's why I like to pick these topics. Cause it's like, I just, I appreciate the people that I believe in. You know, it's like, yeah. if anything, I have validation for having the people around me that I do. Even people that people didn't expect. Uh, shout out to Boats. You know, yeah, that's that's my ace in the hole, man. I, lo I love that dude as an artist. I love his mind. I like the way he thinks about the big picture for the scene. Um, I don't know. I think, uh, I think this is just like a really good time to like, you know, just evaluate your connections mm -hmm. because the people that reach out to you uh, and check on you 
uh, during the times that are good should also be checking on you when times are bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and if they're not, I mean, maybe they're going through it too. Right. I and, I, and that's another thing that I want to be careful with. I know some people are just totally lost, totally disconnected, there not are. finding. And, and I, I, I totally understand that. That's not what I'm talking about. Totally. Right. Exactly. Because I see people active and, you know, it's like, if this is your time to get ahead as a promoter, if that's what you're thinking, you know, it like that you're going to be the first to put back shows. Uh, or if you think that nice enough is going away. No, I'm just more aware. Yeah. We're building um, and we're going to do really cool shit and we're going to have the supporters and the people that keep it real and actually want to grow their brand and think bigger than Omaha and think, you know, all these other cities. That's what we're about. That's um, all we're about. And that's why we do this show. If I, it, you know, we do this every night. We and, do. We don't have to do this. Let me night. let me say something out loud that everybody is thinking. I've had few people say, you know, you don't have to do it every night. And we know that. We know that. But we are backed up. We have tons of artists that we want to add to this library because we think this can be something special. And there's people that want to be on our show. And yeah. And, and we don't want to turn anybody away. And if we can offer this type of platform, especially when things are weird, I'm willing to do that. And all it takes is my time. Fuck yeah. Sign me up. Yeah. And, and you know, if people don't like it, if it's too much Strawstone and Modest K, you could always ignore us. But I want to be there for, I want to be there for the people. I want to be there for the Juju, the mystics that are working right now. Big facts. I want to be there for, for the J crumbs who, who started us out, you know? Yeah. I, I want to be there for the little guys. I want to be there for the big guys. And <clears throat> all of these artists that, that believed in us and, and helped us push us from the beginning when we do have the bigger name interviews down the road or the people, you know, the more pop culture names. We're hoping which, that happens. Which will happen, it I will think. It will happen. I uh, think it's inevitable. I mean, your video is going to be just as important as that. So yes. we're, building a, we're, we're building a catalog. So I, maybe we haven't explained what we're doing for a while. So that's what we're doing. Um, Gunner B, you're an inspiration to me too, man. All of you artists that are doing cool shit. Um, I, I've, I've recently decided that I think I need to, I think I need to talk about things. Yeah. I have, I've been, I've been real, like if you've noticed the first 27 episodes, I've been just super high and really interested and like focused on the guests, which is great. That's our job to do that. Um, I got some thoughts though. I got some feelings. I got some emotions. Uh, I'd love to just go, like, I think I'm going to like either record like a little, like, mini documentary or or just something like that to where i just kind of tell the short brief six month history of of nice enough entertainment and 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 the where i was when when things really went weird and 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 the feeling of being in on the road alone and and you know have a state of emergency declared and to just know that you know your dreams are kind of go up in smoke but all you can think about is doing the right thing for the people that even allowed you to be there in the first place yeah having people say shit out of the side of their mouth not knowing that you're you know not sleeping at all trying to make the right decisions the inner you know? turmoil alone like just dealing with that and being in that position it's uh it's crazy it's, and I, I don't that's i haven't talked about that i haven't spent a bunch of time doing that because i don't want this to be about me and that's not even about me i just i mean we've been around less than six months um uh, we did we did a show in in March that that was in five cities at the same time and I went to three of them. We had over eight hundred people total to all of them. I pulled into town in Omaha like right before the last act and there was hundred and eighty people it there for amazing. an all local show. Yeah, all fucking local, it was baby. All local. Um, I just want to get back to doing cool shit with you guys. Nothing I've done so far has had a huge financial upside and i would i'd replay some of these nights some of these days some of these long road trips i'd replay it with all of you over and over again because some of our it's crazy how some of our best and favorite shows we've walked away from completely broken Mm -hmm. but they were amazing shows and and you guys are worth it Mm -hmm. so it 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 would be good for you to get it all out and that's not saying i haven't learned how to be sustainable and and we talked about with that with austin and whatnot Mm -hmm. you know you learn how to protect yourself you learn and that's something i definitely learned too i started holding people to more of a standard when it comes to it's like hey i'm gonna sell a bunch of tickets you wanted to be on this you can too um But anyways, I if you guys think that's something that I that you'd want to see if I did like a little pre-recorded 
like just like a history of Nice Enough Entertainment where I, I, I want I want you guys to see a graphic of all the shows that we've done, all the people that we've worked with just in this short six months. And we started in the dead of winter. We did. The dead of winter when shows are supposed to be dead in the Midwest. We, we, we had Jizza. We had King Iso twice. We had Mac Lethal. We had Cryptic Wisdom. We had Head PE. We, we were having a great Cassie. time. Fuck, fuck the names in, in the caliber. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, we were having banging ass local shows. Yes, we were. Jay Influential put out the best album I've seen from the Midwest in a long time under Aorta Hip Hop. Yep, he did. Um, yeah, this. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. Um, so even if things get weird, <laughs> uh, just know that like we're we're sitting back and we're gonna do the right thing for people, and we can't wait to get back to shows. But yes, I think I'm done with my little straw rant there. Good. Uh, you, how does it, you feel better? I feel a little better. It does feel better. Uh, my cousin says it helps to get I, it all out. Last night, that episode with Austin, I, you guys should check it out. Uh, we just kind of opened up a, a few wounds a little bit. You know, we talked about like that last weekend. You know, I was in Kearney ap after having King Iso in Omaha and, and Mac Lethal in, in Des Moines on the same night, both of them doing over 200 people, mm -hmm. and then having Mac Lethal in in, at my at my home base on that Saturday. This is the last weekend before you know before shows were canceled. Right. You know, two hundred people there, and then I went to Carney, and that's when I just knew all night at Carney that shit was never going to be the same. Yeah. Every act I I introduced, uh, I cried after. <laughs> like, and people were trying to talk to me, and I'm like, Yo, I'm just being weird right now. Sorry, leave me. You know, because no one knew how serious it was. I didn't either. Right. But uh, <clears throat> it was a. Uh, that's that's when I had my last restaurant sit down meal. I guess we're gonna be able to do that again soon. Shout out to DJB. We went to Red Lobster. <laughs> it was good, cheddar biscuits all day. Awesome. But uh, let's stop talking about it. Let's modest K. I'm gonna tell a joke. T joke of the day. I'm gonna bring it up. All right, ready? It's cornier than ever. Hey. All right. <laughs> it's a modest K joke of the day. <laughs> I need to have a jingle for that. Um, why do people say break a leg? when you go on stage why do people say break a leg when you go on stage kayla because every play has a cast yep that's <laughs> absolutely accurate <laughs> i love you you're the worst all right how about one a bonus joke bonus joke bonus joke i didn't even know we do that on straw talk but hell yeah hit him with that bonus joke what do you call a pig that does karate what do you call a pig that does karate Pork chop. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> so we have Juju the Mystic. Yes. <coughs> Let me tell you just a little bit about him. Talk about him. Uh, he's also known as Julian Henning. He's a jack of all trades. He was raised in Council Bluffs, a neighboring city to Omaha. He got his taste for performing at the age of 14. Starting with small magic shows in the backyards, he quickly grew into performing uh, in front of crowds as big as 5,000 people. Sheesh. Opening up as a musician for acts such as Cool and the Gang, Lil' Kim, Bone Crusher, and Smash Mouth. He even, at 19 years of age, took his act to America's Got Talent where he met his partner, Colin Otto, and they formed a duo magic act. Growing up around music artists in his life, Juju took to the stage trying a different kind of performing, working with amazing talent from the local area. He dropped his first music EP titled Split Skies available everywhere awesome he sounds dope let's, let's play a video yeah let's play one of those videos yeah this is a uh, called universal letter actually let me give, give it just a second to load here yeah we still gotta have me ramble on while we deflect <laughs> you from the upper corner it where things are loading slowly ramble. Um, how are you guys doing? No one really, I was looking at the comments during my little rant. Is anybody else kind of feeling the same way? Have you like noticed that like some things weren't quite as real as you, I mean, are even just had some suspicions confirmed. Tell me about it. Tell us. Relate to me, baby dude. I know. Uh, yeah. I know not everybody's having the best of times. You could always reach out to me. We could yell at each other about things. We can talk about things too. Yeah pretty open i'm pretty uh excited to talk to uh julian i am too he's a really positive hard-working interesting man um yes. 
I'm glad that he's an ally of Nice Enough Entertainment. I'm glad he's out there. He's soaking up knowledge, but he's also somebody that like I feel like people can reach out as a you know maybe a younger artist and get some advice as an entertainer mm. and how to do business. And he does pretty good business. He uh, well rounded, like he said. He he kind of hits things from a lot of different angles. Yeah, for sure. Why don't we go ahead and play the video? Yep. Yeah, um, JTL, this the one, yeah, um, whoa. I said, I said, I said, whoa. All she ever wanna do is smoke. Thought you were the one and that's no joke. They say I sold my soul and now I'm woke. Have you ever rode in a boat? Telling me now I should feel. Asking deep questions, am I real? I don't buy my clothes for the appeal. Ask me, yes, this life can get surreal. Music like the ocean, it's a wave. A universal letter with no page. Popping at a bull and hit the stage. Let's just take it higher than the space. Look into the sky, I'm asking why. Give me one good reason why he died. the lies I don't need a pill to come alive smoking on the low to match the highs wonder what would happen if I died a universal letter to the sky angels call my name I hear them cry looking at the old me like goodbye wonder what would happen if I died I got questions all these questions it's always got me stressing it's got me, it's got me. Stressing, looking down that barrel of that Wesson. Is there a point to life? Are we learning lessons? Reaching for an answer, but I never get the message. On my knees praying, why can't I feel the presence? I just wanna live in the present. I don't wanna have no depression. I just wanna know if there's a heaven. I talk about it all in my sessions. I was growing up in the seven. Got a lot of things that I'm pressing. Will somebody answer these questions? Stressing, looking down that barrel of that Wesson Is there a point to life? Are we learning lessons? Reaching for an answer, but I never get the message On my knees praying, why can't I feel the song that was super dope man uh great visual too let's call Yo. the young man let's give him a call what up eric what up caleb Tyler. Hello, hello what is up hello. let me turn on my video there he is Let's see. there's the guy ah <laughs> what's going on not much, man. How you doing? Kicking it old school. I'm going to grab my vape real quick. All right. Word. I see you. There's ours right there. Yeah. Oh, she's like, I'm <laughs> do this really quick. Unplug my, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Oh, yeah, charger. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, <laughs> so, man, what are you up to, dude? How you uh, spending your time lately? Oh, it's crazy, to be honest with you. Um, the first week was rough because, um, like, you go really – I went really hard. Like, I learned how to produce myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've always worked with producing, but I really um, – as some people say, like, he didn't got good, you know, in the last, like, month or whatever. I don't even know how long quarantine's been. I never know what day it is. Mm -hmm. I yeah. did a count uh... – I've been in quarantine with uh, the kids for 43 days. Sheesh. Shoot. Yeah. That's crazy. 
Man, I know I hit up. Didn't I hit you up yesterday? And I was like, "Hey, man, what time's the podcast today?" Yeah, you did. And I was, I played it like I knew what was going on. I'm like, "Hold on, let me look." Ten o'clock, probably though. <laughs> and then I was like, right. Then I actually looked. I was like, "You ain't today." <laughs> Leave me alone. I know. I never know what day it is. This is honestly. This is keeping me as honest as possible. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Keeping me super honest on as far as like what day it is. Why don't you uh, tell us a little, what video did we play? What's it called? It was called Universal Letter. Why don't you tell us a little yeah. bit about Universal Letter and the video and how it came to be, bro? Um, it was it was amazing. Um, I had wrote a script for a music video to the song Fallen off of Spitz Guys, and um, between me having like I had knee surgery, so like the job I had I couldn't work because it was physical labor. And uh, so I decided to go with the much uh, more normal priced option. But uh, Universal Letter, I made that song and there's so many like deep metaphors in it that meant so much to me. Um, Like I leave it to open interpretation. Like I, I very I like to do that with my music. Like if you listen to it, certain lines mean different things to different people and I, I very much like that style. I like people to kind of paint their own picture. But I hit up Alex Cortez, and uh, he 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 did that music video just like a stop and shop. He great prices over there. Yeah, no, he shout out to Ambient. Um, I like the visual, man. I like that you incorporated your magic stuff into it. Yeah, I did too. So Absolutely. That was your first time hitting stages, right? Was was doing magic. Oh yeah, no, I started uh, when I was fourteen. Um, I was like that nerdy kid in middle school. I was actually like the short fat kid. And then like over one summer I grew like two feet. But like when I started doing magic, I was god awful. But within like a year, mm-hmm. I uh I did uh Century Link Center back then, but CHI Center with um Cool in the gang. Oh, cool. And that that was really cool. Like, especially at fourteen to do that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> that's that type of experience that you like never goes away no matter when it happened you know you you tuck that away and you know that you can you can draw from that for inspiration because moments like that are not easy to repeat oh yeah no um i think with magic i know i learned the sauce Mm -hmm. that's the difference between magic and music magic the sauce was i used to use birds in my act Mm -hmm. like live birds and uh so like i light a hundred dollar bill on fire and turn it to a bird Mm -hmm. and then turn that bird to two birds and stuff like that and as soon as you include live birds that literally took me from nobody to somebody instantly that's crazy that's crazy i like (laughs) like that you're so modest that you just put it out there like that it's like man yo the sauce is birds like you're gonna see me (laughs) tomorrow that start a fucking straw talk i'll be like (laughs) fucking birds everywhere there's like a hundred people viewing i'm like hey i'm gonna have like a bird on my head (laughs) what do we do now with them though (laughs) like my friend lindy has ducks and chickens i mean that's taking a little bit of his advice and definitely turning it very much straw stone-ish so yes we'll just we'll just go (laughs) we're not gonna learn magic they're not gonna be flying birds we're just gonna get ducks and hope that helps a little bit yes Um, hey man everybody loves ducks hey man it's really good to see you dude it looks like you're doing well you're smiling that's that's one cool thing about this it's it's like a real like to to check in on you you know what i mean like yeah no it's it's been a minute and not too long but it's been a Longer than I'd like. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> man. Uh, even it, when it seems like forever between like shows and shit, like mm. the people that I work with, the allies, I see you every week or two, even if it's for a minute for one reason or if it's a phone call or whatever. Yeah. Like when we're grinding, we, I mean, we always come across each other. Like same goals, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, we're heading in the same direction. And that's why we're uh, straws Avery talk. Aviary, maybe. Oh, Avery talk. <laughs> a finch is a bird. A finch is a bird. bird. I could just have finch here. Finch. Yes, there we go. Finch. He's, finch is our magic girl. He changed. He changed his name again. Just fin- what? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. We'll talk about it later. Oh no. Just speaking of birds and their tricks. <laughs> God damn it. Magic tricks. 
darn birds. <laughs> darn birds. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs them? Who I'm need... trading my birds for fish. So, uh, when it comes to things that you had like going on, like before all this bullshit happened, <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about that. How has the crisis kind of affected your plans? How have you kind of done your little duck and move to still do the things you want to do? I um. I have a summer job that I was going to go do and it got pushed back. I was actually going to head out there early mm -hmm. and go do that. And it also pushed back, I think like three or four shows in the first month, just in March, just mm -hmm. completely taken away. And then like all of April, I had planned some shows. I was going to rent out a couple venues. I had, I think I had a show with you. It also had uh, Neves on it. Yeah. And, uh, Everybody calls him Neves, I know, but he I told know. me one day, he's like, it's Neves, and I was like, oh, yeah. What, and uh, Do you know I asked him, like, 20 times, and, like, it was always, the conversation stories went, like, I'll be like, Neves, is it Neves or Neves? And he'd be like, yeah. Neves or whatever, and then I'll just end it with, like, <laughs> wait, there's no whatever to that, and, like, <laughs> it is Neves, though, it, it definitely is. is. But uh, It's like trying to say X's name. <laughs> that dude is, Neves is low-key one of the funniest dudes I've He's ever hilarious. been around. He's a dick. Dude, right me now. and him, we went to TA truck stop and like ate dinner at like three in the morning after hanging out on one of the nights he was uh, DJing. Oh, nice. And that was probably one of the best times I had, like going out with a, another artist, just one on one. He's a, he's got like like the driest little one liners, man, that just get me rolling, dude. I just said, I always thought that me and him should have like a talk show of some sort where we just review shit because. I'm talking and then like, but when he talks, he oh, makes okay. it count, man. It's funny as shit. <laughs> oh no, because his contribution would be like one sentence to like maybe your every ten sentences. Well, similar. <laughs> 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 Sometimes I just look at you like, oh, you want to say something now? I do. Um, so why don't you we go into another video? Okay. Just because people like being entertained and you got some dope visuals. Absolutely. So. This and then after that, we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll ask a few more questions, man. While this is loading, uh, uh, yeah, well, I'll ask cable. a question. She's got a question. Tell me a little bit about your writing process. I'm always very curious about people's writing processes because it's very intriguing to me because everybody is so different in their styles and how they do it. So tell me about yours. I started off as a freestyle artist, like all the time I was doing magic shows, like from age nine. Until, like, when I came out as a uh, musician and a rapper, I would freestyle behind the scenes of my shows. I'd freestyle my basketball games. And so, like, I don't freestyle my stuff, but my writing process is I try to take from my perspective in my life and I just ask myself questions on every song. Like, what would I ask to myself or to what I'm writing about? And... um I say I go through topics like instantly um, and I, I find myself like whenever I just try to like freestyle on a beat to get a vibe for it. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, I find myself like completely switching topics during it. So whatever the best is that I'm kind of coming up with in my head is the starting point. And then from there, I just build from there. Sometimes I try to build the chorus first yeah. because that's what's catching people's ears. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah. Bodes posted the other day about like being like an artist artist versus like being like a like a popular artist and definitely the answer is the whatever that magical middle line is anyone that's like I, yeah just artist artist you know I don't care about uh, oh you don't give a fuck you're just creating something for no one to listen to at all like it's okay to be smart yeah. with your marketing and yeah. find your audience holy fuck yeah and I almost posted a picture like a gif of uh, or gif whatever people want to call it of Drake. Uh, and I, I was like, I literally commented, I was like, both. You can't have one or the other. You have to have both. Absolutely. Man. <laughs> yeah. You can't just be really good at, at marketing, too. You do have to have some sauce. you got to have some talent. you got to have some birds. you got to you know have I mean? birds. <laughs> that's going to be my new favorite fucking saying, dude. Like, you got to have birds. Those, that, that song's got the, all the birds. <laughs> got all the birds. All right, let's go ahead. What's the name of this, this uh, track? Fuego. Fuego, you want to give us a little intro into it before we play it? Juju? When I was learning how to post music on all streaming platforms, mm -hmm. I originally posted a song called LA Girls. And then 
I was working on my project, Split Skies. Mm -hmm. And during that time, I was like, it's been like six months. I should drop something. So I literally recorded this freestyle called Fuego and dropped it. Uh, it yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's play. Let's play. Here we go. You won't be able to hear it. You can still hear me, right? I'm not saying anything bad about anything, but this video cost me the same as my Lego. And there's a huge difference. Shooting niggas like it's arrows. I'm about to blow up like volcanoes. Motherfucking halo. Stacking bread like Legos. I don't speak, but they know. Do it if I say so. Stacking all these pesos. Spread it to my monos. Y'all don't fucking love me. Fuck your Ray Romanos. This an open letter. This a handy bottle. World is not romantic. Friends are always jealous. Hate me for my antics. Claiming that I'm selfish. Ain't no way to tell it. I'm gonna need a teller. Best friend is a fella. I'm gonna need a pen to kill this shit again. Wrote a couple letters. Show the right people. Said release my homie. Got him out the pen. Got him out the pen. And we're back to the shit with a loud pack. Bone rats pass me the shit with a backpack. Three racks pay for the hits. If you ain't Heard about me, nigga, hear about me, bitch. It's fuego. Everything I do is fuego. Every time I make is fuego. Everything I touch, that's fuego. Got a bad bitch, she fuego. Flying, fuego. It's a cricket. Flying, fuego. Flying, fuego, fuego, fuego. Wasn't born in the flames, but I'm molded by it. Bang shit. Wasn't rich, but I'm getting rich. Bruce Wayne shit. Niggas building, I'ma kick it down. Blue Kang shit. Whole crew is getting big. Wu-Tang shit, shit is too legendary, ass shit is hereditary, it's very scary, like scary scary big. Almost made it through it, but go check it out. We almost uh, made it through it. It's Fuego mm -hmm. by uh, Juju the Mystic on YouTube. Yes, go check it out. And subscribe <coughs> to his shit, cricket. all that. Yes. Do all that good <laughs> shit. Um, that was a dope video, man. Yeah, it was. And, and dope song, man. You make really good music, dude. You're a humble guy. I appreciate it. Yeah. You got some you got some some uh, high key bangers out there. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> so, who's your favorite like artist like when it comes to like someone you wish you were like rocking on a label with? Like that respect. I mean, not not just your favorite this. songs, you know what I mean? What do you got there? Is that uh, let me just take it off. Yeah, I can't see. I'm blind. White out. Oh. White out. Oh, who's that? Who's that? It's a OVO hat. Oh. Yeah. Now, granted, that's not my first feature I'd pick. Uh -huh. That's just someone I wouldn't mind signing with and trapping out in like uh, that's Drake, Canada, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're old, man. <laughs> oh, that's okay. But all right, so now we got that. So it's Drake. Let's say shows are back on, and 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 I just. Me and you teamed up together, and, and we booked uh we booked Drake at like the Baxter or some shit like crazy shit. Me and you were talking business outside, and, and I go run inside to take care of something. You see Drake just like standing next to his tour bus, just lighting up fucking fat blunt, and he invites you over. You got like a minute to just kind of tell him what you're about and leave an impression. What do you say before he fucking puts his blunt out and walks away from your ass? I'm going to show him a magic trick while rapping. Hey. I like it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Because yeah. no one's done that yet. I get yeah, it. no. Uh, I've seen one video, and it. the only problem was is that the magic hadn't, I mean, the rap had nothing to do with the magic. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I was like, that's where I think I, I changed the game a little bit there. So, like, I have a couple acts that I've made that I, I just sit on. <laughs> I like awesome. that, man. That's a good answer. That is good. Um, why don't we go into my other question that I like to ask every single fucking episode. What's your broke-ass dream job? Now, let me explain broke-ass dream job. And pretty soon, I think, when we get a computer that we can edit shit, it will like have like a graphic slide. Broke-ass dream job. Da -da -da -da. Or, da -da -da. You know, sorry, let me just... You know, how you, you have to like say things to make them a reality. You know what I mean? I'm just man I'm manifesting the improvements in our show right now. Uh, but broke ass dream job is a job that you know is never gonna like get you financial security. It's never gonna grow into some. It's not a caterpillar that's gonna turn into something else. It's just something you do. Maybe it's monotonous, and you just always thought maybe you'd like it. For example, my good friend Mike Fantastic, he said he wishes he was 
a receptionist. He thought he'd be good at being a receptionist. He's like, I just always thought I'd be a good receptionist. Do you have a job? So like it's that? like non-entertainment, right? Uh, as just one where you know you're gonna be broke. Just something you know that you always kind of wanted to do. Like I kind of always thought like postmen had cool jobs. You know what I mean? Like walk around in those dope ass little shorts, fucking waving at. I'm gonna people. break the cycle. I'm picking two. All right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Entertainment related. I would love to make short films. Cool. Because I've written a lot of them, and I just love short films. If they're good. There's a lot of really bad ones. Yep. And I'd probably make those. But still, I wouldn't make any money, but it'd be fun. Mm -hmm. As far as like a normal people job that I wouldn't make any money. Well, shoot. I wouldn't mind like being like the dude that instructs people how to surf but doesn't surf. <laughs> surf okay. Yeah. It sounds surf like I, it sounds like a like an, an amateur or a trainee surf instructor. He's <laughs> like, Chuck. It's like no, He's I'm not Chuck. going out there myself. I'm not a big fan of the <laughs> ocean, but this is what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'd be like, yeah, I've never been out in the ocean. He's, but, you know. No, he's. He's Chuck on Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Oh. The surf instructor, he's like, he's like, do you know what time it is? And he's like, I just have no concept of, of time. And he's like, I just don't have my phone or something like that. I don't know, but you know what I mean. None of us watched Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Whatever. Everybody time. has seen that movie. I hate that movie. Yo, shout out to, uh, I seen Sam in here. I'm glad that you guys found your cat. They found their cat that they was shout looking out. for. Oh. It was missing for like 24 hours. And they were like searching like manically everywhere. Like, I'm glad the cat's back. Whew, I'm yeah. super happy because I saw that post from Sam too, and I was like, "Oh, dude!" Like, one of those things you just. I wonder who found it because he offered a thousand dollars. Yeah, they used like a like the trap situ like where they bring the litter box out there, and like the cat's supposed to like smell themselves and come back. That's kind of what happened, I guess. Like they found it like near the That's the what cat I trap. Thought I read. So I'm I'm just happy for them. That's yeah, good same. shit. Mm -hmm. Um let's play let's play the other song we have. Okay. Um we have uh, it's called is it Recognize 2 or just I, Recognize? That's actually Fallen. Okay. Oh, it's Fallen. Yeah, my okay. sound engineer titled it differently than the name of the songs. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is called Fallen then. And I'm going to throw that back up there. And this is just going to play. Mike, help me with this one. Oh, yeah, thank you. I remember. I don't recognize myself When I'm standing there in the mirror Picture couldn't get any clearer The world is dark, the lights got dim I don't recognize my soul Everybody says I'm a Santa Everybody looks for the trigger Everybody says I'm a Santa Everything don't really mean a thing Everyone is looking for a gun Everyone is dead as close to me Why I gotta be the only one? I'm falling, I'm falling I'm falling, falling, falling I'm falling, I'm falling, 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 I'm falling, I'm falling, falling oh so deep, most nights I can't sleep, I can't count no sheep, fuck yo one, two, three, you can't count on me, I can't even drink, I can't smoke no weed, I cannot be free, breaking down my soul with this leaf, everything seems to fall. One deadly sin is my greed Praying up to God on my knees I'm falling, I'm falling I'm falling, falling, falling I'm falling, I'm falling, falling, falling I'm falling, I'm falling I'm falling, I said I'm falling From here to New Orleans These women be calling, I'm falling My name is Ballin' Ballin' the hollers, so like I'm pardoned there it is. Mic on. Is my mic on so I can it's go? On hey! now. <laughs> I can hear you. I know. Well, that's important too. I yes. don't want you. Don't think for one second it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was super dope. Yeah, man. Like that everything was, we played tonight was a was vibe. Man, it. Fuck, I'm going to say it just like when it comes to like booking shows.
it makes it so much easier when people are like really dope, <laughs> like fucking, like I, I love like being able to like be like show genuine excitement for what I'm listening to yes. and what I'm doing. Um, Definitely. Yeah. Fucking, it's been great having you on, dude. Uh, why don't you tell us a little Thank bit you. about like your upcoming projects that you have going on? Plug yourself a little bit. Yeah. Any shout outs? And uh, I would love to have you back sometime. You know what I mean? And uh, this is about the length of episode we like to keep because we're always right. late as fuck, anyways. People are patient, though. <laughs> but People go ahead, boss. Absolutely. I got you. Um, once again, thanks for having me on. Um, it's been a pleasure. I love working with you, Justin. Same. It was nice actually first finally talking to you, Modest K. Oh, yes. It was um, nice to talk to you. It's always been Facebook before yeah. this. But um, I'm going to give a shout out to my uh, my duo partner in Magic, Colin. Um, he's actually, I'm going out to North Dakota this summer to work with him on our act. So that when I come back, everything's together. And I make a little money because this upcoming project, Seven Messiah, is is going to be my first full album that I drop on all platforms. Oh hell yeah! Not an EP, an album. It's thirteen songs. Um, it is. I'm blowing myself away in the sense that now that I've learned how to produce, I, in the last three weeks I've made a hundred and twenty beats. Sheesh. Wow. And like over 30 songs. So I'm just like knocking them out the park. And um, one of the things I've been offering to people, and I want to, I want to use this platform to tell people about it. I'm offering artists from the local Omaha scene, a beat with no payment and no royalty fees. You have to pay me nothing, but we collaborate in a different way. I just tell them to invite people to like my page. Mm -hmm. I give them a free beat because I, I knew as an artist, like with Split Skies and music I dropped before, I was giving away 50% of my profit mm -hmm. to these producers. Right. And not saying that they're not great, and I appreciate them for what they did, but I want to be able to create something different right. for um, the, the Omaha scene and just kind of help right. um, I think people grow. I think that's definitely a great like promotion strategy. Definitely. I think it's selfless. Uh, it's a good mm -hmm. move, man. We're we're kind of on the like. I I wonder when I'll be able to send fucking invites out again. Cause like I every artist we get, I try to like I see how many they'll let me like send out. You know, and yeah. I've, I've already sent a bunch out yeah. to you because we've traded before and right. shit. But man, I'd love to. I need to get a beat from you, and I'll send all my <laughs> send my invites. Hell yeah. <laughs> I got you. And Modest, you also get a free mix and master. What? Hey. Thank you so much. Just for being Modest K. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, So, I think we're going to go ahead and call it a night. All right. That was a Monday night. Right. It's Monday Thank as fuck. Thank you so fuck. much for being with us. Uh, um, I know, uh, like, yeah, that was a great interview, man. I yeah. feel like this is a good little yeah. slice of who you are as an artist. You're still mysterious as fuck. I mean, I think you should get... <laughs> that, that's probably the magic side of things, but... Uh, Wait, we do have a fan that asks, can you do a magic trick right now? Yes. Um, let me see what's around me. I moved all my magic into my room. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I, I'll just use this business card. Let me make sure I'm on camera. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, man. And I threw it on the floor. Do you do kids' <laughs> I'm a, birthday parties? I'm, <laughs> I'm yes. Gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you my business cards just so I can get like a gif of it like disappearing and coming back and then I can send that to people. That'd be amazing. I can I can make it appear while on fire if you want me to. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Dude, Perfect. see I should have messaged you about that because now everybody with a business card's gonna be like, Hey yo, like if you could just like you do a little magic like... trick with my business card. <laughs> Justin only thing. It's hey, a Justin only. Thing. At least a, for, for, give me a week. You know what I mean? Like I'm all, then I'm all for sharing resources, but that's the only way we grow. Hey Let's man, go. nothing but respect. Let me know if there's anything we can do for you over here at Nice Enough. We appreciate having you as an ally. We respect everything that you're doing. Keep it the fuck up. We can't wait to keep checking in on you. Um, everybody watching, thank you so much. If you're on YouTube right now, hey, 
Why does sixty six percent of you not subscribe? subscribe yeah, we see guys. those numbers. <laughs> like <laughs> I subscribe. We like hold on we one sec. That. I just go into like a giant rant. <laughs> like, look at me. Uh, but uh, no, it's it's been a great day and it's been a great interview and I'm just thankful and uh, yeah, I'm thankful to just be still doing cool shit in an uncertain world. So. Same. We'll check everybody out tomorrow. Who do we have tomorrow, Kayla? I always forget. Uh, tomorrow. Oh shoot. Man, why are we the worst? We're the worst because we're just so gosh darn busy, and there's so many cool people. Tomorrow... I almost expected. I almost expected you. To oh, we have had enough tomorrow. Oh, had enough from Tulsa. Yes, That'll be dope. Our so, Tulsa friend. Uh, we will talk to you later, my friend. All right. Bye. Have a good one. Peace good out. Good night. Bye. All right. Good night, guys. Bye. We'll see you later. Bye.